Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing great. First of all, I just want to thank all of you for supporting the channel so much and liking the videos. And because of you guys, I am at 750 subscribers. It might not be a really big number, but it means a lot to me. So thanks a lot for that. So as you might know that Apple has released ARCAD 1.5. So in this video, I am going to show you how to implement the image detection feature that comes along with ARCAD 1.5. And this is what we are going to make in this tutorial. Now before starting this tutorial, I just want to give you a quick update. I created this Facebook group a few hours back. In this group, I will post the link of all the latest videos I upload on YouTube as well as the source code of the project I create in the video tutorials. Also, I will be sharing amazing articles as well as updates on augmented reality on a regular basis. So if you want to join the group, I will put a link in the description. So image detection feature is there from iOS 11.3 onwards. So make sure you at least have Xcode 9.3 installed in your Mac and iOS 11.3 in your device. Now let's get the ARKit 1.5 plugin. So just type in ARKit Bitbucket, open the first link, go to downloads and just download the repository from here. Now when the repository is downloaded, just open it using Unity. Now open this folder, examples, ARKit 1.5 and the first one which says Unity AR Image Anchor and just double click on this scene. Now go to the assets folder and just import the iPhone model that we are going to use in this tutorial. I will give the link of this model in the description. So there's something called AR reference image set which contains many different AR reference images. And these AR reference images are basically the target images that we want to detect and place the objects on. So if the AR reference image set contains four AR reference images, then that means in that particular AR session, three different images can be identified by our phone's camera and we can have different 3D model for each of these images. So as I explained using the picture, this is the AR reference image set and these two are the AR reference images. So as you can see, this AR reference image set contains two elements which are these two images, this one and this one which is this one and this one. And corresponding to these two reference images, we have two anchors, which means when this image, that is this one, is shown to the camera, this anchor gets activated. And this anchor will display this model right here, this axis prefab. And when this image is shown to the camera, which is this one, then this anchor gets activated, which will show a cube on that image, this one. Now these two are the default image references which were given inside the Unity ARKit plugin. And now we are going to get our own reference image and then create an anchor for that image so that when that image is detected, we can show the iPhone model on that image. So let's do that. So for the reference image, we can take any image that we want. So I'm just going to grab this image from Amazon. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab this image. So if you are on a Mac, just press Command, Shift and 4 and take a screenshot. Of this whole image. If you want, you can take the screenshot of this thing as well. It's totally up to you. You can take any image that you want. Now I have taken the screenshot and I have the reference image. 
So I'm just going to drag this reference image inside my project. And for creating this reference image setting, go to Assets, Create, Unity ARKit plugin, and AR reference image. And I'll just name this iPhone and give this any name you want. I'll just name this iPhone as well and select the image texture which we just imported, which is this one. And now go to the AR image set, make the size as 3, and in the last element, just select iPhone. So now we have three reference images in one AR reference image set. Now we have created this AR reference image and later when we build this project to Xcode, inside Xcode we have to mention the actual dimensions of this image. So once we build the project in Xcode, we will have to specify the actual dimension of this image. So for doing that, either you can take a physical measuring tape and measure the dimensions of this image from here to here and here to here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to download a measuring tool from App Store. Just type in ruler and just download this one. So I'm just going to open it and I'm just going to measure the dimensions. Just click here, start and click here. Now the width of this image is 31.52 centimeters. So I'll just note this down and the height is 12.78 centimeters. So I'll just note this down as well. So make sure you measure the dimensions on your own because we might have different screen sizes and so the dimensions can be different. Now go back to Unity, go to iPhone and just give this any size you want because we are going to change this in Xcode anyways. We have the AR reference image and now we can create an image anchor. So to do that, right click, create empty, just give it any name you want. I'll just name this iPhone anchor, add component, generate image anchor just select the script and for the reference image just drag this iphone reference image that we created and for the prefab that we want to generate on the image let's prepare that go to the iphone 8 plus model that we imported and just drag the iphone parent prefab into the hierarchy and you can just deactivate the directional light because i already have a spotlight on this iphone so as you saw in the demo video, I created some animations. So let's do that. Click on this iPhone 8 plus model, add component and type in animation. Uncheck this, go to window, animation and stack this window right here. And just give the name to this animation. I'll just name this anim, save. Click on record button. To record the animation, add property, transform, and the position currently is this one. Just delete these keys and just slide this white line from here to one, and just slide this model up a little bit like this. Now stop recording. You can see the model is moving. Now what this means is this key represents this position and this particular key represents this position. So the model moves from this position to this position. You can just close the window and just drag this animation that we just created inside this. And now to run this animation we have to create a script so just click on add component, animation, script, enter, create an add. 
just open the script create an animation variable name this anything you want get the reference to this animation like this and now play this animation anim.play as you saw in the demo what we want is as soon as this move animation finishes we want to rotate this iPhone model so to do that just go to the update function and just type in if anim dot is playing and just put a not sign so basically this means when the animation is not playing or in other words the animation has stopped playing so when the move animation finishes we want to rotate the model so for that just type in transform dot rotate and the speed is 3 Press command S to save the script and now if you press play you can see first it performs a move animation and after that animation finishes it starts rotating. So once we have done this just click on the iPhone parent and click on apply. What this will do is this will save the changes that we made that is adding the script and the animation this will save all these changes to this prefab which we dragged right here so now as everything is inside this prefab we can delete this and click on iPhone anchor and just drag this iPhone parent inside this prefab and don't stop watching the video right here because we have to do some changes inside Xcode as well so just click on file build settings Click on add open scenes. This will add the AR image anchor scene. Just click on iOS and switch platforms. I have already done that. And now go to player settings. Change the player settings. Change the target minimum iOS version to 11.3. Just build it. Now just open the Xcode build that we just created and go to image.xe assets and click on AR resources and click on the image that we imported now we have to change the size which we measured so the width was 31.55 centimeters which is 0 0.3155 in meters so I'll just type in 0 0.3155 and this will automatically change the height according to the aspect ratio so you just have to change only one dimension now just run this application and let's see what we get